Good day, everybody. We're still working on the bear, but we need to get a base for it. Now, when I sculpted the bear, I sculpted it on this plaster base. Kind of has like a stippled rock texture. So the bear would kind of go on it like that. But I'm not sure I'm gonna like how this looks when it's cast in the bronze. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mold it and cast it in wax and see if I wanna modify it before I do anything more. Since I don't know if I'm gonna like it, I don't wanna use my super expensive silicone wax. So what I did is I went to the hardware store and I got some 100% silicone caulk. And I'm gonna try to mold this with this. So I'm just gonna fill in the holes and then it's a little too big, so I'm gonna put some clay around it just to kind of close off some of that surface area. Spray it down with some mold release and then start putting silicone rubber on there. Now I've never tried this before, but I saw a YouTube video where a guy just put rings of silicone on there and pressed it with his finger. See how it works. So it's been about four days. Let's see how it is. really stuck on there. I don't think I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna put a plaster backing on there so it'll actually maintain the shape of what I wanna cast. So I ended up breaking the wax, but I don't like how it looks anyway. It doesn't look good, so we're gonna start all over again. So now what I did was I took some newspaper, crumpled it up into the shape, and then wrapped duct tape all around it. And I think that is gonna be a better situation for the base. So I used my good silicone rubber to mold that base and then made a plaster back on there. Let's see how it looks. That turned out pretty good. That should work. Looking at this, I have no idea how to screw this up. Maybe feed it into the bottom and then vent it on top. Obviously need sprueing lessons because this is not going to support the weight of it. I'm trying to get it to suspend at an angle so I can fit it in a pipe, but the only way I can do that is to hold it up with wire because the sprue wax is not strong enough to hold itself. So consulted with people that know a lot more than me and they say it's kind of a bad idea to have a wire in there so I want to be able to just have sprue wax. That's what I have. The wire's holding it up. A few little sprues on the bottom, main channel going to the base. So it's falling apart now. So I put a one inch sprue in there and basically just welded it in there as a part of the wax cast. So 
Hopefully that'll have the strength needed. Look at that. Why was that so hard to figure out? Thanks to the people at the homefoundry.org. They solved my problem pretty quick. I tried to use this half dome of foam to make a nice smooth funnel. That gap became problematic. You'll see. So I'm excited because I finally got a kiln that's going to make things a lot easier for the wax burnout. Big thanks to my Uncle Bob for helping me wire this thing up. Now I have 220 power to my garage, which means I can also get a welder. Now the kiln I got is an open coil kiln, and I'm learning that if I burn out all my wax in there, it's not really good to get on the elements, it's not gonna make the kiln last as long. So what I'm gonna do is a different method called steaming. So I got my wax in the investment and I got this big stock pot at a secondhand store. What I'm gonna do is put water in there, elevate it, prop this up so it's not in the water, and then steam it so all the wax drips out and pools up in the water. This foam plug probably isn't gonna melt this steam though, so I think I'll torch it out. So now that the majority of wax has melted out, it's time to put it in the kiln and burn out that last little bit, that residue on the edges that'll bank it nice and clean, and it'll also bring it up to casting temperature. I always put a layer of sand down in case some molten metal hits the concrete. I don't want the moisture in the concrete to pop and snap. That's happened before and it's kind of scary. Kill makes the burnout so much nicer. That is not how I wanted that to turn out. nervous it didn't fill up all the way. I thought for sure I had enough, but it's not looking like I did. This might have been a disaster. I don't have a good feeling about this. Dang it. He had it. Everything was going good, it was perfect, but I just didn't have enough bronze. I tried to eyeball it, I figured it would be enough. I didn't weigh the wax and that was my first mistake. You could say, oh, rookie mistake, but I'm a rookie, so. <sighs> One thing I didn't account for is how much thicker it was on the bottom. I measured the top and I thought it was a uniform thickness, and it wasn't. It's was much thicker, so it was, there was a lot more bronze there than I thought I needed. So close but that's gonna look nice when it's done. We're gonna get this figured out. If you wanna see me actually make this on the next one, now I know exactly what I need to do and I should be able to quickly go through it, get it done, and we're gonna have a finished bronze bear. Thanks for watching up to this point. It's a struggle. I'm learning, I'm figuring it out. If you wanna see more, hit the like video, hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. Look at that. Seven pounds, ten ounces. This thing's as heavy as a baby. It might look good as a walnut, though. <laughs>